Oh, wow, I'm so excited. My first base. Hey, new Josh. Huh? Look at me. Look at how shiny I am. Whoa. More strings, more notes, more bass. Play me. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm sold. Nope. Nope. Stop it. Evil five string bass. Get the f out. I've seen a million beginners who think they should start on five string bass. I even played a five string as my only bass for a year or two when I was first learning. I'm gonna give you seven reasons why you shouldn't learn on five string bass as a beginner, but we'll also cover some five string solutions and when it might make sense to go to the dark side. I think I'm having muting problems. Everything's fine, there's no rumble. Shut up and play. Oh, okay. Muting means keeping the strings you aren't playing from ringing, so you don't sound like a muddy earthquake. I cover essential muting techniques in another video here on YouTube. Short story, muting is hard, and adding the extra string on the five string makes it even harder. Plus, the added B string is bigger and fatter than the rest, so it really likes making noise. And this is even more of a problem because you can't really hear that low B string rumble from your little practice amp. But it makes a huge mess in a bigger amp or a venue's PA. A fix many five stringers use is the floating thumb technique, where your thumb rests flat on the strings below the one you're playing and follows along with your plucking fingers. This does help a lot with the B string's crippling rumble addiction, but it's another thing that adds to the learning curve, which you wouldn't have to fight with as much on a four string. Hmm, why aren't the notes changing? You're plucking the wrong string, man. Get it together. More practice, more, more. Successfully hitting the right strings is already hard for beginners on four string. You look at your fretting hand, you press down, you pluck, you hear a weird noise you weren't expecting because your plucking fingers are on a completely different string. So adding one more string to the mix equals learning being harder. For more in-depth mathematical observations, be sure to subscribe to Bass Buzz. Also, most five string basses have tighter string spacing, meaning the strings are actually closer together than on a four string. That means there's more strings crammed into a smaller area, so it's even easier to mix up the strings when you're first starting. <laughs> Stop my beast with the rumbles. <laughs> Slapping is hard enough to learn as it is, even with my idiot proof slap videos. But on five string, you'll struggle even more with two issues. One, accuracy. As you know, if you've tried any slapping, your thumb loves to hit the wrong string when you're first starting out. Well, now there's a big fat B string interfering every time you try to slap the E string. And plus, with the tighter string spacing, there's an even smaller hitbox. And two, muting, which is already extra hard when slapping because you can't use this thumb to mute. So clean slapping requires a lot of fretting hand muting, which is a huger pain with the B string in the mix. G-A-B, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Learning the names of the notes on the bass neck is crucial for beginners, which I talk about more in my fretboard money notes video. But even just learning your money notes on four strings is a challenge initially. And now with a fifth string, there's 25% more notes to learn. I hope I didn't lose you there. That's just some more very complex math. Plus, if you're not totally new to bass and you're at all used to four string, putting that B string on the bottom is super disorienting. I remember bringing a five string to a gig some years back and I hadn't really adequately prepared. I actually found some video from that exact gig. You can't really hear it in these clips, but I totally played a string off from where I meant to a bunch of times that day because I kept expecting the B string to be the E string. <laughs> There are a couple physically clunky things about five string basses. They have more neck, more strings, bigger bridge, more tuners, so they're generally heavier than four string basses. A thick padded strap helps distribute the weight more comfortably, but heavy basses will still do a number on your spine, especially on a long gig. My bass! The second clunky thing is floppy B strings. The B string is bigger and fatter than the other strings, but it runs the same distance from nut to bridge, so it's under less tension and can feel floppy some basses. The fix for this is multi-scale basses like Dingwalls, where the B string actually gets to be longer than the G string. But they're pretty freaking expensive and you really don't need to be taking out a mortgage on your first bass. Plus you could spend a fraction of that cost on something more practical. 
like, I don't know, maybe my step-by-step -step beginner to badass course. A five string bass is just not the classic sound in many genres. If you bust out low B's, C's, and D's on a Motown tune, it just don't sound right. If you're a beginner, you probably don't have a good enough ear for style to make the call on whether to use those extra low notes or not. So it's harder to mess that up just playing a classic four string. <laughs> Even when you're playing a style where five strings do fit, it's easy to overdo it. You might be super excited about your brand new shiny B string, but to experienced ears, you sound like a five string noob if you just sit on those super low notes all day. I thought it was cool. In most styles, those low notes should be used on special occasions to like drop the song into another level of intensity. If they're just there the whole time, they're not as effective. Like if every song a band plays has this four on the floor kick drum thing going on the whole time, it just gets monotonous and aggravating. But if you start mellower and then build to that intensity with purpose, it's actually exciting. So those are seven reasons not to learn on five string. That's 1.4 reasons per string. All these challenges are doable, all these problems can be fixed, but they add to the learning curve. And if you're already nervous about learning an instrument, like, oh, I wonder if I can do it, I sure hope I can, then don't learn on a five string. It's gonna make it harder, and it's gonna increase the risk of you going, ah, I can't do it, and giving up. So should you start on five string? My advice is a strong no, unless one of these two things. One, you're committed to a genre that really needs it, like hip hop, gospel, orchestral, or certain metal subgenres. Or two, you really, really want to, and it just feels right, and screw this Josh guy anyway, and all these sexy five string clips in this video just made you feel like, ah, oh, I need to make that sound. Well, I'm convinced. I'm going back to four string. There is no escape. You must have more strings. Ha 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 ha. Nope.